This interesting exhibition included drawings and collages by Jacqueline Grogue, dress and furnishing fabrics, and a few dress designs. The exhibit was displayed in the Architecture and Design Center in the Edwards Harris Pavilion. The museum building was designed by E. Stuart Williams in 1961 for the Santa Fe Federal Savings and Loan. Several owners later, the building was purchased by the Palm Springs Art Museum and renovated to include a study center for architecture and design, as well as a large exhibit space. The building is a classic mid-century modern design and features floor-to-ceiling windows which frame the cityscape and surrounding San Jacinto Mountains. This presented challenges for a textile exhibition, but the museum handled them well. Pattern play features the contemporary designs of Jacqueline Grogue. Grogue was born in Prague and studied with Joseph Hoffman in Vienna. After the Nazis invaded Czechoslovakia in 1939, she and her husband fled to Britain, where they were welcomed by members of the British Design Factory. She was a prodigious and influential designer to the end of her life. This whimsical print is a nylon fabric. There is no information about this dress or the other dresses in the exhibit, so we don't know whether they were home sewn, ready to wear, couture, or just samples. This museum photo shows an interesting vignette featuring a dress print from 1946 and furnishing fabrics from the early 1950s on the wall. Shown in two colorways, these vibrant furnishing fabrics are from 1952. They were inspired by abstract art and designed for the Festival of Britain's Information Center in 1951. Later, they were modified for a smaller domestic scale. This bowl furnishing fabric features two vertical columns of irregular abstract shapes. It looks like a roller print, but it was described as a woven cotton. This stunning dress is fabricated in a charming rayon print from 1946. Inspired by nature, this bold print features an imaginative use of color. Puppet Ballet is a cotton dress fabric from 1953. It has repeats in the length and width of the pattern. A repeat is the length of the pattern before it duplicates itself. I really like this print. The repeats are easy to see. The first row is repeated on the bottom row, and the same motifs are used in different sizes and colors throughout the design. In 1954, Puppet Ballet was printed again with a different background color. In this collage, Grogue explores the decorative details of small botanical motifs. She often began with a simple small-scale motif, then multiplied it many times. The basic pattern has a defined repeat, but the black rectangles are scattered to interrupt the repeats. This cotton print fabric is from the 1940s. The bias cut bodice has cap sleeves and a softly draped funnel neck, which continues to the back to form a small collar at the neck. Here you can see the dress back and the collar detail at the back neck. Tulips were a favorite and frequent motif for Grogue. This charcoal drawing positions child-like drawings of the tulip throughout a grid pattern. The vertical light spots are the small spaces between the shades on the museum's windows. 
These tulip designs from the 50s are quite different from each other and the previous charcoal drawing. Also from the 50s, this abstract design shows Grogue's versatility. Here you can see the outlines of the buildings and plants outside the building, as well as the streaks of light between the shades. Generally, they were not noticeable when looking at the exhibit. This fabric print is from the 1940s. The dress features a large shawl collar and large sleeve cuffs. The welt pockets sag, causing the skirt to dip unevenly at the hem. There is a major distortion of color because of the light from the windows. The photo on the left was taken with the mannequin facing the windows. On the right, the mannequin is facing away from the windows. This is not noticeable when you are in the gallery. This is a printed anti-shrunk rayon crepe from the mid to late 40s. This dress had hand-sewn hems, covered buttons, and handmade thread buttonholes. A similar fabric was used by the British Couturier Molyneux for this dress worn by Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth. The photograph was published in the magazine Illustrated in September 1946. In 1957, British Overseas Airways Corporation, BOAC, commissioned Grove to create multi-use patterns for seat covers and decorative wall panels on its commercial jetliners. I thought Grove's notes were particularly interesting, so I have highlighted and enlarged them here. This early print was designed for Schiaparelli in 1938. It was based on Grove's drawing of the audience during the opening night at the Paris Opera, and it sold in the U.S. under the name Gala Night. During this period, Grove also created designs for Chanel. This whimsical untitled mixed media from the 1940s was one of my favorite designs. I'm Claire Schaefer. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, join my channel to look at my other videos.